Hi everybody, my name is Jacob. Um, I wanna do a really, really, really quick video. I wanna say thank you to everybody that is responding really well to my Christeca videos. I've been seeing a huge climb in viewership and quite a few people subscribing, so I definitely appreciate that. That means that my history with gout, and letting you guys know my history with gout is like worth it. <laughs> um, if I can help somebody uh, with their gout journey, um, that is fantastic. Um, I do want to share something specific about this video though. Um, and this will last less than five minutes. Um, I've been seeing a lot of like a spike in viewership when it comes to one specific video and it's about my TOFI gout. And, um, I want to kind of like go a little bit more in depth with TOFI just real quick. Um, so if you're combing through the internet and you see, you type in Tofi gout, you're going to see the most gnarliest toes, the most gnarliest feet, the most gnarliest whatever, and you're going to be turned off and you're going to be like, oh my God, that's never going to happen. And most of the time it's not going to happen because those most gross feet and hands that happen with Tofi, it's because... That has been happening within that patient's life for probably five to 30 years by that time. I bet you if they did a pan out with that person's face, you'll find out that they're like 70, 80, 90 years old. <laughs> Most people that have TOFI um, don't have extremely, extremely <laughs> disformed feet, disfigured feet or hands or body limbs. So don't be disgusted by TOFI gout. Um, if you do have TOFI, though, you want to 100% talk to your rheumatologist and also your general doctor because, one, you don't know if it's TOFI or not. <laughs> it could be something else, and that something else could be something very dangerous in your body. Um, I don't mean like a foreign thing, but I'm talking about the big C. So you want to, like, you want to get doctors to give their uh, opinions that know about that stuff. So... Um, so if you feel a lump in your body, don't automatically assume it's TOFI. You want to go to a doctor, <laughs> your rheumatologist, and let them know. But TOFI can happen anywhere. It can happen in your ears. I had it in my ears in my early uh, 20s. I had it in my knees. I had it in my elbows. I had it everywhere. Right now, they're settling <laughs> between. And this is so bad. They're settling between my elbow to my hands like uh, along the lining of the bone and it feels like a river rock <laughs> like the bottom of a river it's not comfortable but hey it is what it is but um it's i wanted to kind of share that because a lot there's a lot of misconceptions about tofi um most tofis are safe to be in your body they're not gonna obstruct anything um, I did have one TOFI that actually broke through the skin and, um, it was actually just recently within the last couple months. That's my nephew's artwork. <laughs> He's only two years old. Um, but I had a TOFI deposit that was there for like almost 10 years on my lower right uh, leg and it broke through the skin and I had an infection and I... Most big tofi that do break through my skin, they usually do have an infection because what happens is that, you know, it's like a pocket, you know, it's like the tofi, but then there's like stuff below it. And so your body doesn't actually like, you know, push it all out. You kind of have to push it all out or a doctor does and it can turn out to be an infection. So, um, but most of the time tofi most of the time it's going to stay in your body. It's not going to obstruct anything, but if it does, you do want to get it checked out. Um, it's not a scary thing, but TOFI usually is a sign of uncontrollable gout. So hopefully this video helps, <laughs> but I do want to say thank you guys so much for joining me and watching these videos. I definitely appreciate it. Um, seeing somebody that actually has been through gout and through surgeries and through a Cresteca slash methotrexate, you know, trial, medical trial, um, seeing 
information from a person that's actually been through it um, is relieving. I know for myself, if I was to hear, you know, myself now as I was like 13 years old. <laughs> so um, thank you guys so much. A comment, like, subscribe, and you guys have a great rest of your day. And thank you so much for the love. I appreciate it.